Okay, here's what I'm doing today. That's that. This is my window. And that uh, tire paper that I put on the window has slipped down. So I'm gonna read, I'm gonna try something else. Oh, cool. So I had it uh, duct taped to the to the glass, and I, I thought that was going to fail, and it did. I'm going to try something else right now. Okay. Okay, I got the foam off. I think uh, having that tar paper on the inside trapped between the glass and the foam is the best way to go, but I'm going to try something else. I'm going to put I'm going to put the tar paper on. Uh, that metallic type of foam and have it inside the window and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we're upstairs in the garage and uh, I've got four sheets of this inch and a half uh, foil covered foam. It's pretty good for high temperatures too. Cut out a piece of tar paper and I'm gonna Slice out a piece the size of half my window and tie wrap it, tie wrap this to that and see how it goes. Right, baby? Ooh. Pretty nice up here. Okay, I got it marked. And I'm gonna slice slice it at an angle. just a little bit bigger than the window opening. Okay, so there's my piece. Get the angle there. And I hope to tie wrap that those two pieces together with some UV protected tie wraps. Okay, I didn't go nuts with the tie wraps. I put six on. And uh if you want to take the excess off without leaving a sharp point, you can put your pliers right up close and twist it off. Keep spinning it around and around, and then you can then it won't be sharp. Sorry about the finger. <laughs> okay, and I left I left this edge. This is the uh, that's the beveled edge. I left the tire paper away from there because I might need to trim it to get the fit in the window. It's going to be a press-in fit. See if it works for right now. Okay, back at the window. I was hoping to uh, kind of kitty-corner this in, but I can't get around this bugger here, so I'm going to have to slice this down the middle, and hopefully it'll stay together and I'll be able to unfold it into the window. <laughs> Put it in folded and then kind of push it open like that. We'll see. Okay, so I I was able to slice it while it was still in one piece. And I tie wrapped each side. So now the tire paper is like a hinge on the other side. And I was able to pop it open. But uh, doing it this way, I had to uh, remove that pointy edge because it kind of makes it want to stay open. So it's still a little pointy. I'll have to put a piece of duct tape here to hold it that way, but that's pretty good. All right, anyways, the point is I got the uh, the black tire paper on the outside. It's going to heat heat up and heat the air up and it's going to that air is going to move up here where my open window is. And then it's going to eventually cool off and move down the back side uh, where it's shiny and foily and hopefully it'll reflect any remaining heat towards the, uh, towards the house. And then it'll go loop back around, hopefully, and then shoot back up so it'll convect around and around and around. The point is I just want this glass to be warm. 
and uh, that should should work but I don't know if it's going to be any better than I had it before where it was tar paper trapped between the glass and the foam but we'll give it a shot and this might be better if you get like windows you don't want to damage like I I literally just screwed the foam <laughs> foam right to my window uh, whatever that is part of the part of the window <clears throat> So you could pop that in there and then close it and uh, at night just draw the drapes or whatever. I don't know. That, anybody could do that. This here, it wouldn't damage anything. You just got to get this measurement pretty close, right? And then slice it down the middle and fold it out. That's neat, huh? Yeah, you haven't had, that hasn't been open in a while, huh? Anyways, I just thought of something too. If that uh, if that angle was cut, see, I had it cut like uh, like this. You can just barely see it. It was cut like this, so out there was the point. If I reversed it, like if it was like this, then the force would be coming from from this corner here, pushing this closed. Oh, it's kitty. That's my neighbor's cat. Checking out the storm damage. So, the way I've got it, if if that was uh, if this edge here was longer, it would force this to be closed like that. So you wouldn't need to tape it like I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to tape this right there. But that's not a big deal. <clears throat> Just a tip, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go look at it from the outside. Oh, uh, well, you can't see anything. <laughs> well, the cool thing about that is you can't even see. <laughs> can't see anything. It's jet black, so there you go. So anyway, you can see the bottom edge there. Warm air will travel up that. This this side heat up the uh, upper spot, uh, upper area there, and go down the back side around the bottom, and then shoot out again, and hopefully keep that warm up there. That part will be open during the day, and that hopefully will pay for my daytime lighting, heat-wise, that is. Whatever, white people. Well, as far as my other invention goes, I got all the pieces made for it and had it half assembled and I realized there was a couple issues. So I did learn something that's good and I'll, I have to go back and think, think it through a little more. It's kind of a bicycle. It's a variation on a bicycle. Hopefully, if I put it together right, design it right, uh, you get a whole different kind of feel when you're riding it than you would a bicycle. So that's what I'm shooting for. And if it, <clears throat> if I don't do it just right, then it's just going to be just another piece of crap you're riding down the road. It's got to, it's got to really capture what I'm going for, or else uh, it's not very, it's not it's just no big deal then. But if I was to get it right. It would be quite a thing, I think. Anyways, should get the tripod out. It's a pretty nice moon there. Good day.